what's going on everyone so i am at home i just got back from camping and there's a lot of stuff that i've done that i haven't shared because i've just been really busy and i apologize for that not that most people really live to watch my channel or anything like that so um a couple updates the blazer um i i've come to realize that i i rarely hang out with a bunch of people any more than just one you know usually it's just me and a friend well, me and the wife, um, me, the wife, and the dogs. So, um, we have her car, which you can see it's right there. Um, you know, four door, seats five people. It's perfect. It's a cop car. Back doors don't open up from the inside, but everything else works. So, besides that, um, so we got the truck. And like I said, I don't, I don't cruise around with a bunch of people in the truck. Um, it's just a pain in the ass because the two doors. And, uh, well, it's a four-wheel drive vehicle, and it doesn't drive as nice as the car. So, I uh, made a modification to it. So, what I did is I, I took the back seats out and, uh, you know, shed some of that weight. Um, you'd think, like, oh, well, why'd you do that? Well, like I said, I don't use the back seats. The back seats are kind of in the way, and the mostly load-up stuff anyway. So, it was kind of in the way. And then I had my speakers behind that seat, and the boxes were just in the way, the wires, everything. So I decided to do something a little, eh, not drastic, but definitely a change. Um, what I did do is, uh, well, I, I, I made something. I don't know if you can see it right there, but yep. I uh, took out the back seat and I made a platform, integrated my speakers, hit all my wires, and uh, yeah, it actually looks pretty damn good. Sounds good. If there was one thing I could change about it, I'd probably make the uh, speaker boxes all the way depth to the bottom of the floor, which I didn't this time. This is just like my first one ever doing it, and uh, it came out okay. Yes, the carpet doesn't match. It was clo It's close. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, good enough. That type of scenario. But yeah, looks pretty good. Now I can load up stuff, not really have to worry about. You know, I can just take a, a board and put it over those. And that will protect that. And, uh, yeah. Not too bad. Really not. I, I, I think it came out okay. And, uh, I also fixed my truck. Um, well, I am in the process of fixing it. I haven't quite finished it yet. You know what? Why don't you take a walk with me? I'll show you what I, show you what I got. So, my exhaust blew out. Um... Right after the manifolds where it starts coming into the exhaust on the passenger side. So what I did do is uh luckily got my exhaust off. Got it off totally. Got uh cut it cut it out where it needed to be cut out. It actually disconnected um the pipes and everything from uh after the uh manifolds. So being in Massachusetts in my car over 15 years old, I did not need to pass missions anymore. So I opted to get a uh an off-road pipe uh, versus uh, the catalytic converters. So I don't need to pass emissions. So I am just waiting on uh, four new um, oxygen sensors, uh, oxygen sensors, and um, yeah, I'm gonna put this in. This is from Jenks, right there. This is uh, for all, like basically all Chevy 350s. Um, it's a cat bypass. It looks stock. This is the only part right here that I have to, uh, you know, gonna have to size it, basically, and then throw a clamp in there. Um, this is stainless, so it'll last a while, hopefully. That's that's the point, you know, that's, that's the plan anyway. And um, I got the rest of the exhaust in my wife's car. New muffler, tailpipe, mid, um, and then the, this is the secondary, so like the third pipe. It connects to this. Uh, yeah. I don't know, but whatever. I got to get a couple more uh, clamps, and I also have to uh, do the cheat on the O2 sensors because it's been running lean, and it's because I have no cats in there. So I have to get some of those anti fowlers and do the uh, the trick, and I will show you uh, that trick when I go ahead and do it. So that's a little bit of uh, what's been going on, at least with my truck anyway. I just got back from camping, um, White Mountains. Uh, more clo we actually stayed closer to Mount Washington on the northern side of the White Mountains. And uh, it was fantastic. And we had a great time. And we're back. And yeah. 
So that's that, and I really got nothing much, much else to add. But, hey, be awesome. I'll see you later. Have a great day.